Hi, I'm Tom Anderson, Senior BlackBerry Developer Evangelist with Research in Motion. And in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how to load your application into BlackBerry World. Now, before you get started and jump right into loading your application up into BlackBerry World, you're going to want to collect a few things before you get started. You're going to want a short description of your application, just a few words. You're going to want a long description of your application, less than 4,000 characters, but something that really describes what's cool and groovy about your application. You want up to five keywords that describe your application. You're going to need a couple of images, a product icon, which is 480 by 480 pixels, and a feature image, 1920 by 1186 pixels. Now, these dimensions are very important. Your images have to be exactly these dimensions. You're going to want up to 50 screenshots of your application. <laughs> 50 screenshots is a, is a lot, but if, if that's what it takes to show the greatness of your application, you can use up to 50 screenshots. You're also going to have to already have a BlackBerry World Vendor account. If you don't have one, pop on out to developer.blackberry.com, click the App World link at the top, and you'll find all the information you need. And of course, you need an application. And your application must be a signed application in order to be loaded into App World. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see on my screen here, I have already logged into my vendor account. This is what the vendor account looks like at BlackBerry World. Notice that in the middle here, or excuse me, the top left, I've got Manage Products. What I'm going to do is click on the Manage Products link. That's going to take me to the section where I get to manage all my products. I currently have no products here, so I'm going to click Add Products, and we're going to add our product here. The first thing we want is a product name. My product is going to be called Photo Bomber. I need an SKU. Now, an SKU allows me to identify the application and allows BlackBerry World to keep track of it. Now, SKUs need to be unique, and they can be only alphanumeric, letters, numbers, and they cannot be numeric only. Now, if you forget that, no worries. Just come over here to the right, click the question mark, and it'll tell you all about what the SKU is all about. So we're going to put one in. We're going to call it uh, PB001-1. Uh, upload. I'm sorry, can't use a dash. <laughs> upload demo. Okay. We want to select a category. We've got a ton of categories to select from here, so we're going to choose uh, apps. Ooh, we want apps photo and video uh, photography. Okay. Next we want to add a rating. Now the nice thing is when you click the add rating button it's going to pop up the content rating questionnaire. Select how much of each of these topics are in your application and we'll generate the rating for you. In this case there's no violence, no adult themes, no language, no drugs, no simulated gambling. Anybody can use this application. Minimum age, there is none and there's no social networking community or other user generated content in this product. Click submit and we get a G rating. Next our license type, well I want everybody to have access to this so I'm going to select free. The next four items, Facebook page, Twitter account, support email, and support URL are actually optional for you to put in there but I strongly suggest you add at least a support email. So I'm going to add info at photo bomber.com. Then I'm going to click next. That's going to take me on to step two. Step two is where I want to put in the product description. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in my short description. Copy and paste. Photo Bomber app adds wacky images when you take a... Oops! My short description is too long. So let's go ahead and take this out and say Photo Bomber adds wacky images to your pics. Alright? A very short description, like I said, to be able to just give the gist of your application. Next, we want the longer description. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that in here. Paste. So here's my longer description. Now, again, it can be up to 4,000 characters. I haven't used nearly that much, but I've gone ahead and put them in. And keywords, we want uh, just a couple. Photograph manipulation. Okay, great. So I'm going to go ahead and click the next button. Now we're on to step three, where we add the images. I'm going to go ahead and add my product icon. Remember, the product icon needs to be 480 by 480. So that's in my picture section. 
And there it is, photo bombing, open. And it's gonna go ahead and load that up. Next, I'm gonna add my product feature, which is 1920 by 1186, open. Okay, notice we're getting the loading window. Okay, and now that feature's up there. Okay, add screenshots. I've got a couple screenshots, so let's put a couple of screenshots in here too. Uh, let's see. My screenshots are, uh, here we go, there's a screenshot. So we'll add that screenshot. Nice. So there are my two screenshots where I'm getting photobombed by a cat and by a cow. <laughs> okay, so we go ahead and click next. Clicking next is going to take us to step four, where we have any carrier restrictions, right? So this is the area where you can say um, whether you restrict this application to certain carriers. Um, of course, I want it available to everybody, so I'm going to let it go to all carriers. And also, you can specify which countries you want to go into. Again, I'm going to go with all countries. And that brings us to the final step. Step five, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the product information we've loaded. Notice up here at the top it says, do not automatically post my application for sale. When your application is approved by BlackBerry World, if you leave this blank, when it's approved, it will automatically be put up. Now, in most cases, that's probably what you want to be able to do. But in some cases, you may want to control that. Maybe you've got a launch coming up or some other event. So you can click this. If, when it's all done through BlackBerry World vetting process, if you do not want it put up for sale, check this box. I'm going to leave it open because I want it automatically put up. I can review all the information. Here's my product description. Here's my screenshot. Okay, we're all good. So I go ahead and save. And with that process, what I've done now is I've created all the information. And notice that I've got a status here that says draft. This is the product that I've described, but I have no releases. So this is where I want to upload the actual application. So I'm going to go ahead and click on releases. Click the button that says add. Here's the, the export control. It's going to ask me if my product has any encryption information associated with it, which may cause um, problems exporting to other countries. Does my product call cryptographic libraries or any other functionality? In this case, it's all no. So I go ahead and click next. Confirmation of digital rights. My product contains third-party content. Nope. It's all my stuff. It's all the stuff that you're going to take pictures with. Okay. Generate safeguard. My product supports user-generated content. Uh, if your product supports user-generated content, such as images, text, profiles, you will need to confirm that appropriate safeguards in place to protect users. Next. Okay. Step four. So here's where we're actually going to upload the file. Version number. Note BlackBerry Post. Version number in the bar manifest file. New in this release. We're going to go initial load and now we're going to add a file bundle so we're going to go ahead and click file bundle now this is going to be for a blackberry 10 device so i want to shoot the platform of qnix 1.0 i'm going to click device support on the edit and i'm going to check blackberry 10 because i want it to go to all blackberry 10 devices all languages support click on the files button i'm going to now add the file code document BlackBerry 10. My application is right here. Photo Bomber. Open. Okay. All languages. Now. Okay. So here's the release setup is complete. The final summary shows me all the stuff that I want to be able to uh, to up. Yep. No part in first. No user content. We're good. Click save. And I'm done. Added release 1.0 successfully. I've got my new bundle set up here. I can then select for submission and submit the release for approval. Okay. This is the summary sheet for the submit product release for Uru, for Photobomber. I get to review all the information I selected, get it all good, looks fine. Kind of like a, you know, just before you check out of a store, right? Right, just before you check out of an online store, confirm your <laughs> your shopping cart. Everything looks good. Submit for review. And that's it. My product is now pending review. 
That's my status. I'll get notification when it's passed, and I'm all ready to go. Okay, I'm Tom Anderson, Senior Developer at BlackBerry Evangelist with Research in Motion, and we'll talk again.